Hi, welcome to sonyvegas.co.uk. If you're using Sony Vegas Pro 10 or 11 or Vegas Movie Studio HD or Platinum, then you've probably got DVD Architect with it. This tutorial will show you how to use DVD Architect to make a no menu DVD. If it's a program that you've not quite got the grips with, then hopefully this will give you an introduction on how to get started with it. It is actually a little gem and once you get familiar with it, it does quite a lot and is very powerful. What I'm going to do is open up DVD Architect 4.5. I do have 5.2 but this is just to prove that it works on previous versions and it works on the new version. It's just in the menus and there it is. That's how it will open up with menu one on the top, menu page properties on the right, your media will appear in here. These are the tabs, more tabs, playlists, compilations, etc. But as I said, we're going to make a no menu DVD. And to do that, strange enough, we've got to go to file, new. And there we will pick single movie. We'll pick our project format. In this case, it's 72576. If you want to make a Blu-ray, then it's the same procedure. Pick the sound, whether it's PCM, AC3 or 5.1. In my particular case, I tend to use AC3. I use AC3 rather than PCM because it takes up less space on the DVD. So it allows more video to be recorded on there, especially if you're doing a long production, like a play. Now, if you want to start with this all the time, you can click this button here. And that means that that project will start as a single movie the next time you fire it up. OK, so this starts all new projects with these settings, if you click that. Once we're done, we're happy that we've got single movie, our correct project video format, our correct audio format. We press OK. And we then browse to the folder where our file is kept. And this is the folder. There's the MPEG. There's the AC3 sound above it. And as long as the AC3 audio is named the same as the MPEG audio, apart from the last three digits, then DVD Architect will open up that as one file. So we've got the video on top, we've got the audio underneath. If you cannot see that, then just make sure that the correct timeline tab is pressed. Now, if we wanted to change that audio, or the audio is named differently, as it can be sometimes, is we can go up here and correct collect another MPEG, sorry, an AC3, and drop it on, and there you can see that we've got a different audio. So I'll just drag the original one back on there. There we go. Once we're happy with that, we can then go into to render and make the DVD. So up here where it says make DVD is what we click. We can prepare it. Uh, burn it later or we can go to burn where we prepare and burn the project all in one go. If you're doing this route then have a disk uh, ready inside the burner. And normally if it's your first time then I'll, I'll normally use rewritable disks just to make sure there's no errors. So in this case we'll go for prepare. I'll leave this exactly as it is. I'll go next and you can see here the two files that I've got in the project. I'll check Optimize, and here I've got two tick boxes under Audio and Video. That means that this particular format will not require re-rendering, which is what you want to do when you finish with a project in Vegas Pro or, or um, Movie Studio. Otherwise, it will re-render and take quite some time. If we do Next, it says No Messages to Display, and we do Finish, and within seconds, and this is a quad core machine well, within four or five seconds that file is ready for burning and basically that is uh, a no dvd sorry a no menu dvd if you want to know just a little bit more then from here i will give you that extra information if you want to start the video a bit later you can use these on the front and on the end So if you've got a long black at the end, 
20 seconds for some reason you can drag that in so it cuts it out quite short you can press the cursor somewhere press the insert scene chapter marker and you'll get a chapter marker which you can name in there you can also get the same effect by pressing the M key on the keyboard the other thing to note is on the left here where the actual file is there's a little sort of star mode star there and that indicates that this is first play so when you do the menu ones if you put a file up there with the star on it it means that file will play first before it gets into the menu based system and over here we've got things like end action and the destination in this case is the most recent menu and there was no menu so it will just stop but if you wanted to you could grab another file and let's grab this one here which is the end credits for this particular program there we go and if you look there there's the end credits and then over here I can select those end credits from the destination and it says end credits there we go so what that means is that when this first file finishes it will then go off and play the end credits so you can almost have a little um, playlist going but playlists are a separate item and are much easier to do which I can show in another demo later anyway I hope that's enough um, to uh, to help you and hopefully you'll watch some of the others that I produce thank you